name is Kim Tai. My name is Haj Book. My name is Teresa Parker. I go to Northland. My name is Fenia Matila. And my name is Salman Preta. My name is Elizabeth. My name is Kirian. Daniel's my son. My name is Nicolao. I'm a learner from high school. My name is Nixon Kalonda. All the way from Orange. My name is Celia. I'm in grade 5. My name is Sam Kalonda. I'm in grade 5.
ください。She doesn't like to socialize. Um, she doesn't have a nickname. Yeah, and I think this about And she eats everything. Everything. <laughs> The guys from Ludrad. What is his nickname? Or Sir Luke. Sim Nyoma. Sim Nyoma. Sim Nyoma. Sim Nyoma. Okay, they, they call him Sim Nyoma. <laughs> He's from Ludrad. And he's schooling at Angra Bakina. He likes Angra Bakwena. <laughs> his hobbies are listening to mu music. He's listening to music and his idol is Eminem. This guy's name is Ibas. That is my soccer friend. She likes uh, pizza. All of these are listening to music.
eager to greet me, but anyway, it's okay. The parents, the teachers, our guests from Republic of South Africa, and the learners, and the, the media, if they are those who are in our midst. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Uh, I am Mr. Nuhulu, a senior education officer responsible for natural sciences. But for this purpose and this program, I will be the master of ceremony. The biggest title I can give to myself is the director of the ceremony. Because sometimes if you don't become a director, you might not make it in life to become a director. So if you want to be a director at a very young age, start being a director of the ceremony like me today. We are here today to celebrate, to witness, to observe your creativity, your dreams, and your passion. Here we are to witness what was once put in your mind, and the ones say that what you put in your mind can be fulfilled. And they say, where there is a will, there is a way. Name is Gideon, Daniel is my son, and I'm here to participate in the science fair. And so, I'm from Karas region, from Woodrow's, schooling at Yas Primary School. And my project's name is can see what I've been into drinking water. David Amunjebo, I've been grade 6B. I'm schooling at Diaz Primary School. And I'm here for Science Fair. This is Johannes Nicolau. I'm from Ludred. We are here for Science Fair. And my project name is a car that transforms into a boat. I'm in grade 7. My category is, mm, is ele Electricity Association. <laughs> And um, I, I wish I could win a gold medal or a bronze or whatever. It's Johannes Peters. I'm from Ludrat School at Yas Primary School. And I'm here at Kema Kidman's <laughs> for Science Fair. My Science Fair project name is uh, Peter Box Oven. And I'm in the FO category. And I hope I get bronze gold. My name is Joshua Yala. I'm in grade 7C in a school at Yash Primary School. Um, we are participating in the uh, science, science fair of, in the Karas region. Yes, I get my school. Um, I am in the category EA and my project name is a Water Truck. My name is Werner. My son name is Ashpala. I'm from Roshmina School at Uxem Primary School. Uh, as you can see, this is the wall. We are here for science fair, and my project's name is Does Athletes Have Better Lung Capacity Than Non Athletes? And to shorten it up, it's the lung capacity of athletes and non athletes. My aim is to get a gold, silver, or bronze. At least it's a medal. Thank you. My name is Shibuta Shibanga. I I'm schooling at the primary school. I did come here at Ketman for Science Fair. My category is AS. My name is Fanava Shikulwa. I'm from Woodrats. I'm in the GSC category. My project title is Woodrats Train Train Cleaner. Uh, it's based in Woodrats and it's all about cleaning the, the tracks and taking away the center of the teams. My name is Bernardo Ndala and I'm from Karasai, I'm grade 9. My project is all about creating a AC generator that produces current more faster. Like now the world is uh, having a problem with fossil fuels. They are on the decreasing amount, they are decreasing. Now I, I thought of coming up with a new idea of creating electricity that just flow in one cycle. So my project my project is all, all about the uh, motor, this toy car motor, motors that that produce electricity. And that electricity produced just flows in a cycle. No electricity is wasted. You can even charge your, 
a phone from my project. You can even light a light bulb. Uh, my name is Samuel Amwele and I am the head boy of Angara Pekuena Senior Secondary School. I am from Ludwig and I am here for the Regional Karas uh, Science Fair. Uh, I, I built a uh, multi-power heptop box which is actually a, a power source which can be used during power blackouts you know when during power blackouts our homes become so empty and boring you know so the, the model that I that I built can actually the model that I built can actually provide electricity to charge your phone and it can, it, it also has a music system which you can use like to, to take away boredom. Thank you. My name is Lauren Denjao. I'm a grade 12 student from Angra Bukena Senior Secondary School and I'm here for the 2019 Regional Science Fair. Um, my project is about or is titled Why Energy Drinks. The reason why I chose this topic is because I feel like people neglect it because it is not too scientific for them and I feel like they neglect the people who are not academically smart because as we all know um, athletics in Namibia is decreasing yearly because people lose interest and whenever we hear about Olympic Games and the Commonwealth Games the first thing that comes to our minds is people from America and South Africa now I want to change this perspective by making people believe or think that when they think of Olympics or national athletic games they must first think of okay Ten people from Namibia are going to qualify and they are going to make us proud of bringing back gold medals. This is why I chose my topic. And it's also environmental friendly, it doesn't do anything to the environment, it involves everyone who is not academically smart, but then who can have a career in sports. My name is Wayne McKay and I am a learner from Angra Pikwena Senior Secondary School. I am grade 11 which puts me in the senior secondary phase. My project is about music and how it affects the human body. I did three experiments. Experiment one, I tested how music affects blood pressure. This could help the country in reducing hypertension levels in adults. In experiment two, I tested how music affects concentration. This could drastically help students in their studying. And in experiment three, I tested how music affects uh, muscle performance. And this could really help out our athletes. I am Romeo Jazz from Karasbar, Losville Junior Secondary School. I am in the I'm in the JSC category science fair and uh, I am I am here to present my school. Uh, my topic is my project is about uh, painting houses for different colors. Actually, uh, the problem that I'm solving is that in my community people are living in single houses and they don't paint their houses and the. Uh, the zinc is a metal which means it attracts more heat and the candles are starting to melt and I am solving the problem of melting candles. My name is Penny Amatila. I'm from Carlsberg from Wines. My project is about how to improve the primary and secondary education of Namibia. My aim was to find out how we can help improve the primary and secondary education of Namibia because the result does not reflect the millions of dollars the government spent on. That's why I want to. I did this investigation to find out how we can help the primary and secondary education of Namibia. And this was done by setting up questionnaires whereby I set up questionnaires and give the questionnaires to the different people and fill in the questionnaires. My hypothesis was we can help improve the primary and secondary education by expanding access to high early quality childhood education. My name is Tara Ole Awanga. I'm from Karasbad Combined School from Karasbad. I'm doing a project about the impact of legalizing cannabis in Namibia. My hypothesis is if we legalize cannabis in Namibia, it will have a good effect on the community. Because I believe that if we do legalize it, we could make money from cannabis and there are many uses of cannabis. Yeah. Um, my name is Selman Petami, a grade 9 learner at Ambrosius and Kenya Combined School. My science fair project is How Can Food Security Be Improved in Namibia? This project deals with finding solutions on how we can improve 
the food security in Nigeria. My name is Elizabeth Garnish from Ambrosius Ampini Wine School in Orange Moon. I'm in food grade 10 and I am a prospective scientist. My topic is how to lay the periodic table effectively. My name is Maxine Kalonda, all the way from Orange Moon, and I'm doing a project about indigenous kids and how they can improve learning performance. Well, my topic is basically trying to bring back the olden days game to try to improve the performances of learners in a certain type of way and thinking in complexity of learning. Thank you. Good morning sir, my name is Katran Kishanberg. I'm a learner from high school Bushmanland. And my project name is How Strong is Sound Waves? Now, the meaning of this project is to find out if sound waves can, if sound waves can bless and or extinguish flames. Then, there's a problem that I have been trying to solve for, for, for a long time. That there are some people in South Africa that leave their, that leave their stoves on in their houses and that could result in a fire. So, I have... I have decided that to let everyone know that maybe some people don't like to use sound waves but if I could let them know that would save so much lives. Okay, my name is Aiden Miller. I am from South Africa, Northern Cape, Busmland I. My project is about desalination. Desalination says that they, have, uh, that they use the great seawater in the treasure. In other words, the dissolved solids stay behind. The problem about this uh, the sun isn't very hot in, hot in the winter, and usually the water doesn't come out too. So we have to keep it. We started using this project because we experienced the worst, the worst drought in Cape Town. We needed to start a workable backup plan. We found out the diesel emission. Our project, or my project, can produce 600 milliliters of fresh water in just an hour. Oh. My name is Maria Aufpiku. I had, I'm in grade 9A and I attend school at Century Secondary School. And, it's, and it is located in Tess. The name of my project is the school cost to decay. The purpose of my project was to determine whether co causes to decay and measure the effect of co on tooth enamel. What I've learned from my background research is that the tooth decay is caused by an acid. An acid is a compound that contains hydrogen which dissolves in water to form hydrogen ions in a solution. My name is Lana Simano. I'm a learner at the age of the primary school in grade 7. I think it's all about generation. My name is Kim Titus and I come from uh, a right job at the high school specialist and I'm from school and my topic is about, my topic is about so which way can increase learner's thinking skills. So this game you see here, it's called Marabalaban. It's called Marabalaban. You play it like this. And this game you see here, it's called Snakes and Letter. So uh, Roll it, and then if, when you score a six or any number, and then you climb up. Let me say, for example, you score four, then you climb up the ladder, and then when you land on a snake, you come down, and then when you uh, uh, from one to one hundred, the first person there is the winner. Then. And this game you have here, it's called chess. So chess. So we have this are the soldiers, and this is the king and the queen. So all of these. They are protecting the pin. They can only move here, they can move like this, this, but they can't go, they, if they are here on the other side then, they can't go like this, they must go one one. So they go like this, and this one can come and block them here. And then, when, let me say example, this one comes, and then this one comes, this one can kick off this one, just like that. You, like that. And then, the horse it moves only like this three times. And then this one it only moves straight. Yeah, and then this game you have here is called Hogan. 
So basically what I do is I use copper wire and magnet and magnets to generate electricity. When the copper wire is exposed to magnetic moving magnetic fields, it push and pulls the electrons within the copper wire and creates an electrical current which can be used to human beings. Yeah. Yeah. 
best way to clean it is with bleach. As you can see uh, on my blog. My name is Joshua Andrew. I'm schooling at Lotilas Primary School. Um, Lotilas Primary School is near the ocean. My topic is about solar, uh, solar motor car. My name is Adrian van Vieden and I am representing South Africa. Uh, my school's name is AIA, Organized International Academy, and my project is all about solar panel innovation. Yeah. My name is Tukan Chani, my son name is Nam Fungwai. I'm schooling at Erin Jagger Combined School, a grade 7 learner. My topic's name is Mathematics in School Learners. I choose this topic to find out why most learners feel mathematics. My name is Penda Kondo, I school at I school at Yalan van der Rijn Primary School in Ludrits. I ch my topic is about how to improve traffic in Ludrits because I uh, because I want to drop the rate of Namibia because of accidents. My name is Vitalik Okundi, I'm at 11 uh, at Cedarle High School, that is in German Karas region. So my project focuses on trying to reduce death rates in road vehicle accidents. As the name suggests, it's a VHP, Toto is high. It's a VHP total, so what the project mainly focuses on is trying to modify a minibus in such a manner that it acts like a tortoise. So, and a tortoise is an organism that reacts to any stimuli around its environment and then it goes beneath its shell. But now my car takes these sensor readings from me that have been programmed with my mathematical skills to allow us to know the size of objects that are around the car, the speed at which these objects are moving, the distance at which these objects are with the car, and then the time we have left until they crash. So I use these elements to help me to establish a threshold upon which the car will react. So I've used an Arduino programming kit which is also uh, modified with um, Arduino ID uh, environment. So with that I'm able to program the sensors and the motors as well that run the whole operating system. Now I'm able to actually command the car to react to any changes around it. So let's say if we were to detect a larger object that is coming towards the car, what will happen is that this will happen. The car will actually flip over, the shield on top of the car will flip over in an attempt to increase the area around the car. As we say, pressure is indirectly proportional to the area, therefore the area is increased and the pressure is reduced. And then the emergency fire extinguishers programmed by the controller will allow, also allows for the uh, activation of the extinguishers. So another element that is to be established is the mechanism that will allow for the shifting of the driver's chain, the mechanism that will allow for the separation of the fuel tank and the diesel. And then another mechanism that will be established is the uh, GPS module unit that will allow for the transmission of data to satellite units that will allow us to track the position of cars and transfer the information to health services and police services where they will be able to assist the driver in times of need. So otherwise, what is actually happening is that my uh, device is able to reduce the pressure that like, any car is experiencing by 59.26%. So if you apply the uh, force, any type of force, any amount of force you are applying to the car will be reduced by 59.26%. And this is actually not just a constant. It happens if, that if we are able to increase the area to more than 5.4 meters and 2.2 meters square in addition, we will still get a larger percentage uh, reduction. So, Otherwise, this is my project focusing on trying to reduce death rate in accidents, reducing pressure, and then reducing the chances of fire occurring in a car. Thank you.
So Jackie Shannon Lee.
Alpindi Vitale. Thank you. 